In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to correct the error, the client lacks sufficient authorization in Cisco Expressway when configuring Acme with Let's Encrypt. Starting in November 2019, new Acme configurations may be affected by this, but existing Acme registered deployments should not be. To preface, this issue is fixed in X12.5.7, so if you can upgrade, you can just skip this video. The Acme service is used for signing certificates with the CSR generated from the Expressway Server Certificates page. The error, the client lacks sufficient authorization, shows up when configuring Acme after pressing the Sign CSR with Acme Provider button. If you're looking at diagnostic logging, you can see the more specific error from Let's Encrypt, account creation on Acme v1 disabled. To fix this error, we need to change the Acme Provider URL via the Expressway REST API. For this, you can use any API client of your choice. In my case, I'm going to use Postman. In the URL field, type the FQDN or IP of your Expressway server. Put the path slash API slash management slash configuration slash Acme providers. In the authorization tab of Postman, make sure you're on basic auth and put your admin credentials here. Be sure to check that the request type is a get, then click on send. In return, we get the Acme provider's information. Let's copy the UUID and the URL and paste it into Notepad. Now copy the UUID and append it to the address. Change the request type to post and edit the body of the request. For key, put URL. Now go back to Notepad and change the URL from acme-v1 to acme-v2 and leave everything else the same. Copy this new URL and paste it into the value field in the request body. Be sure to tick this checkbox, then click send. You should get a 200 OK. Nothing is displayed in a 200 OK response, so you can verify that this worked with another GET request. Just remove the UUID from the URL again. You should see the URL is now showing up with the Acme version modified from V1 to V2. Now you're ready to get your signed certificate by going back to the server certificate page and continuing with the process. If you continue to receive errors, please open a service request with Cisco Tech. And that's all there is to correcting this Acme error. I hope this video helps and thank you for watching.